Well, hello everybody. It's lovely to see you again. It's Kirsten from the Montrose Arts Centre here again today at MAC, Montrose Arts Centre. And um, I'm coming to you today to show you a couple of uh, crafts uh, that you can do with just very simple um, materials. We've got paint, um, so water-based paint, and we have got um, glue, and we have paintbrushes and we have some glitter. Now, the first one we're going to do, we're going to do it in two parts. The first one that we're going to do um, doesn't need the glue, all right? So we also have to have uh, either a canvas or a piece of sturdy uh, card or, or thick paper. Um, I've actually got a, a canvas here, but this is just one of the, the very, very inexpensive canvases that you can buy in lots of the um, bargain stores and things like that so you don't need an expensive one um, I've got some brushes now you need some fairly big ones um, as well as some different sizes but we're actually going to just um, have a bit of fun experimenting with the the paint um, and we the, the magic ingredient that we're going to use for for the the painting today is also uh, some salt just some table salt so I have got uh, some colours just squished out. Now I haven't brought a palette today. I just uh, wanted to say that if you don't have a palette, you know, a, a plate or a dish or anything will do. I've got um, a sort of iridescent uh, green, a couple of uh, blue turquoisey colours, an iridescent pink and a sort of dark purple. What I'm going to do is just simply take my biggest paintbrush and I'm going to put um, some water on it so I've got it nice and wet. I'm going to hold it up, okay? Now you can decide whether you want to have it landscape, that's sort of widest, or whether you want to have it um, portrait, which is sort of up and down like this. But what I'm going to do is to show you how we're going to uh, start off. So you just load up your brush with plenty of water and then start with your first colour. Now, this is not meant to be a pictorial image. It's an sort of an abstract type image, okay? So I'm going to mix my water and my color so that it's not too thick. And I'm going to just take my brush and just stripe across the top like that, okay? You can see what I've done there. Now this, as I said, has an iridescent sort of pink to it. So that means it's kind of got a shine to it. So you can see that. Now I'm just going to carry on doing that. You don't have to be precise. You can just carry on. Now if, it's, if it drips like it's doing, that's absolutely great. Okay, so we kind of want that effect. So all we're going to do is keep going backwards and forwards with our brush and with our paint. Okay, just have fun. Just feel the freedom of just painting. Okay, that's it. Now we're doing that and then we're going to uh, just cover up some of the areas that are a little bit blank. You can see that there? Just cover them up a bit so that they don't have too many white bits, but it doesn't really matter if you do. Now we're going to move on to this purple colour. So the purple colour comes next. Okay, so again, just take your paintbrush and just get your paint and very, very freely, just take your paint across like that. Lovely. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now we're going to move on to uh, blue. So we're going to have this lovely sort of turquoisey blue. Okay, just painting that here. Again, just doing exactly the same as we did. Okay, painting, painting, painting. Then we're going on to our next colour, which is a sort of slightly green, greener version a sort of, of blue, like that. See? And then last we're going to go on to the iridescent green that we have at the bottom. I'm just painting that along there. Great. Now, now that you've got all your colours in a stripe, you clean your paintbrush and you dab it slightly so that it's not dripping with wet with water and then you just go over your paint again so that you're kind of just 
blending the colour slightly so that it's not so much of a definite striped effect but more of a blending effect. And just do that so you're lifting off some of the paint but you're actually just going over what you've already painted just to merge it a little more. Like that. So now we have our canvas that's all striped in different colours. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get one of the smaller brushes and we're just going to take that brush, put it in the water and just lay it against the top of your canvas. Okay. And any water that's on the brush will drip down. Can you see how it's doing that? You just let that drip, just let it drip down. So we can see the water is dripping, 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 dripping all the way down. Just keep doing that, just lay your brush along the top. I have actually got a piece of kitchen towel on the table underneath. So that's probably a good idea for you to do as well, just to catch the drips. Okay, so just lay your water, put the water on and just let it drip. You see how that's got that lovely effect? Now what we're going to do is we are going to get some salt. I've got some salt here, it's just some table salt. And what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle the salt on top of the paint. Now as we do that, as we do that you'll see that it will start to create an effect, a grainy effect on the bits where the paint has come off. And it will start to merge into this wonderful dotty effect like this. So just carry on with your salt, spread it along, sprinkle it on your canvas or your card Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle it like that. Now, as you can see, it creates a wonderful effect. Now, if you want to, you can add glitter. Okay, see how quickly this was done. If you want to, you can add glitter. I'm going to add glitter to mine. Now, I have got red, gold, green and silver but because I have got pinks and purples I'm actually going to do it with just the silver just now. So the paint is still wet so I've actually got a, a shake, a shaker glitter tub with holes in the top so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle some of the glitter on the top of my, my canvas. Then I'm just going to make sure I get rid of the rest. Now, if you can look at that and see how wonderfully glittery that is. Now you can look at the way it is. You can decide if you want to add anything else to that. For instance, you can still go back at this point and add more droplets of water so that you can actually create more areas of interest. While the paint is wet you can keep going back and you can keep repeating this process. So you can go into your other colours because if you remember we only drop the water from the top so now you can start to go back into some of the other colours that are further down. So we were on our pink to begin with now we're on our purple And all the time that we're doing this, it's a case of some of the colour coming down and merging with the colour underneath. We can see that that's happening again. And you can see the effects that we're getting from that. And do the same with this colour here. So that all the time 
we've got more interest. So it's really entirely up to you how much you play about with this. You can do as much or as little as you want. You can lift paint off. You can put water on back on the areas that you started off with. You can even go back and add different colours if you want to. So you could kind of add some little bits of the colours that we've used um, elsewhere. So for instance, we can go back to, we've got the green at the bottom, we can go back and we can actually start adding some bits of green along the top. Make sure that your paint isn't too uh, dry when you're doing it, okay? So if you add the touches of green along the top, you can see it's very, very uh, easy, very free. There's no right or wrong. That's the beauty of this. There's absolutely no right or wrong. It's an experiment that you can just have fun with. So I'm going back now onto the bits that I've just painted and just adding water so that I can just see if there's a little drip coming down just so that you can actually see where these colours are going. So you're, li you're sort of lining up some of the colours that you've already used along the top. And you can do the same going back into the next one. Just have fun. Just do what you like. Have fun. Be free. Go back with water. Tap, tap, tap back with water, tap, 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 go back with water. Now I'm going to use some of the pink down here because we've got all the other colours at the top. Now we're going to use this pink, this iridescent pink. I'm going to add little bits of this just so that they are blending down from there. And once we've done that, once again, once again, we will sprinkle it with a little salt. So we're going to get our salt again and we're going to sprinkle the salt. So sprinkle the salt on what you've just done. and then shake off any extra. Now, if it dries, there's some salt that's dried on here. Don't worry, because once it's dry, once the actual paint is dry, you can just brush that salt off. It'll just come off. So it's not a problem at all. Now I'm going to have a little bit more glitter. And we have got a lovely mixture of colours. Now, you can have it any way you fancy. Once you've actually completed it, you can look at it and think, which way do I like that? Which way looks best? It's such a lot of fun. It's actually very, very cool. And uh, I would love to see how what you make. Again, all you need are some water-based paints, some salt, some water, some paint brushes, some kitchen towel, a canvas or a thick piece of card and some glitter. Have fun, okay? I'll post some pictures of this canvas for you so that you can see it uh, when, it's, when it's all dried. But at the moment, thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten from the Montrose Art Centre, Mac, and you can follow us, like us and share our posts on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So part two of our water, salt and paint will be coming up shortly. So please follow us for that. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye.